What's going on everyone? Jeff Blue here back with another video for you guys. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I want to talk about music publishing and talking about PROs such as BMI and ASCAP and stuff like that. Um, this is something I've been studying consistently for the last year now. Uh, and it's a lot to take in. There's a lot of different things that go into play with this and how the song is broken up. It's definitely not easy. Um, now I'm making this video today so that I can show some of my artists exactly how you want to register your song with BMI. Now this will be a part one where I go through the BMI side uh, and part two is going to have me using Song Trust. If you guys are not familiar with Song Trust, I definitely highly recommend you check them out. If you go over to their website, you're going to find a section here called Learn and you want to go to the Knowledge Center and this is what you want to download right here is the Modern Guide to Music Publishing. This is going to teach you everything about exactly what you need to do when registering your song and how to collect all of your royalties. And they're going to teach you other things uh, like split sheets and a checklist and lyric sheets and why those are important. Um, alrighty, so for today's video, we're going to be jumping in to BMI and we're going to register a song. I'm going to register a beat that I've made just so you can guys see what the windows are like and how to fill out each section. So I'm gonna log in here. All right, so this is what BMI looks like when you first log in. Uh, if you've never seen it before or you have and you just don't know where to go. Um, so there's two sections that are very important to start off with. So that's works registration and works catalog. So I'm just gonna show you my catalog to start. This is where your songs will end up once they've been registered. So, and it'll give you all the information of when it was registered and stuff like that. Now, to register a new song, I'm gonna go to Works Registrations and you wanna click on Add New Work. Next, it's gonna ask which account. Now, the reason you might have another account is if you run your own publishing company, then you might have a second account. In this case, I'm my own publisher, so it's just going to be me. And this is not a classical piece, it's going to be all other genres. Alrighty, and the first thing you're going to want to do is add work info. So the title of this beat is Walkman. Um, it is lengthwise it is 2 minutes and 52 seconds. And since there's no lyrics, it's an instrumental, we're going to do music only. If this was a song that you were rapping over, singing over, whatever, and there was music underneath, you would do music and lyrics. All right, so we're gonna hit next. The great thing about these questions is that there's a little question mark, so if you're confused about something, it'll kind of explain it. Um, in this case, the public domain, no, and does con it contain samples or medleys. If you're using someone else's art, um, their work, their music, something that isn't royalty free then you're going to want to check yes in this case this was produced by me and another producer so no i'm going to include him already are there any publishers on this work um if you have a if you are with a publishing company you would check yes in this case you are a self-publisher and you're going to collect your own publishing side of things In this right here, for works without publishers, total writer share must equal to 200%. And the reason they do this is because there's two sides of these type of royalties. There is the writer share and the publishing share, or publisher's share. And rather than break it down 50-50, they do it 100 and 100. It's just a little different if you use ASCAP. case um, I'm going to add myself and I'm going to give myself a hundred percent and now when you add someone else you're gonna want to if you don't already have them in your list here you're gonna have to enter their name here as well as their IP number which they can give to you as well as their affiliation and their share. 
Um, this one was produced by me and my buddy Mateo. So I'm gonna put that there. Already got his IP in there. And we're gonna hit next. So we both get 100% or 50-50 of this beat. Are there any artists? No. If you were a rap artist, this is where you would put your artist name, your stage name, that kind of thing. Are there any recordings? Yes. Um, this section, if you were composing for film, TV, theater, or a music library, then you would check yes. Um, in this case, no. sure everything is correct it was not released by a record label and this is where you review everything and the information make sure that Titles are correct, music only, duration is correct, the writers on the track, publishers if you had any, and the recording title and when it was released. This is how they identify the songs. They look for the credits relating back to the writers as well as the title and when it was released. want to double check click that box and submit successfully submitted so now you go back it's gonna take a minute to load and there you are and it's pretty simple so it doesn't take much you don't have to upload any files or anything like that it's just the writers and the titles and that kind of stuff that's the composition side of things. In part two, I'm gonna show you guys what you would then do with Song Trust and how you would add the song to that library so that it gets registered around the world. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video is extremely helpful for you guys and it's gonna help you start submitting your songs into your own catalog and building up that publishing. Peace.